I'm going to show you how we can calculate the matrix inverse using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Now in a previous video I showed how we can calculate the inverse using the adjoint determinant formula. That can be computationally expensive especially when we've got large matrices. So the preferred method is to use Gauss-Jordan elimination. Now the inverse of a square matrix A can be calculated by row reducing the augmented matrix A with the identity matrix I to reduce row echelon form. The matrix to the left of the partition when that augmented matrix is in reduced row echelon form is the inverse matrix. So I'll show this by way of example. So here we've got a 3 by 3 matrix A and I'm going to calculate the inverse using Gauss-Jordan elimination. The first step is to form the augmented matrix where to the left of the partition we have our matrix A and to the right of the partition we have the 3 by 3 identity matrix. Now we're going to row reduce this using um, row operations to reduce row echelon form. So the first row operations, uh, one is our pivot so we need to uh, subtract two lots of row 1 from row 2 and we need to subtract four lots of row 1 from row th 3. Okay. In doing so we have to do the same across all of the rows so as you can see here, uh, what was our identity matrix on the right-hand side of the partition, these values have also changed. So next we have our pivot of 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply throughout row 2 throughout by, uh, by 1 fifth. Okay, and now our pivot is 1, so we're going to subtract 5 lots of row 2 from row 3. So notice our values on the right hand side are changing as we change in the um, values on the left hand side. Okay, so our next pivot is minus 12. So we have to multiply this by minus 1 12. So but the pivot is value, uh, the value of our pivot is 1. Okay, so if we do that across all of the third row, and then we have to reduce uh, this 4 and this minus 2 fifths um, by subtracting 4 lots of row 3 from row 1 and add in two fifths of row 3 to row 2. Okay, and in doing so we end up with our augmented matrix is now in reduced row echelon form. So we have our identity matrix is now on the left side of the partition and we have some other values on the right hand side. Okay, so remember this is the augmented matrix. Well, this was uh, this is the row echelon form of the augmented matrix A I. Now, this matrix to the right of the partition is the inverse. So we can simply re read off the values, and we could check that's the inverse by multiplying throughout by A. So I've done that here. So I've taken my inverse matrix, which we calculated using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Multiply it by the original matrix A, so that was the matrix I was trying to calculate the inverse of, and we can see we get the identity matrix, so we know our inverse is correct.